so hey guys and welcome back to my channel um in today's video i will be showing you all my opinion on whether or not i feel like the cricut maker is beginner friendly but before i do that i will continue to post and speak on my political stance saying that all that all lives cannot matter until black lives do too I will continue to say this and scream this until there is no breath in my body because that is what I believe that is right. And honestly, black people are the only people that get opposition when they try and speak on their rights as humans. And that's sad. We're the only people that get opposition on the internet, you know? Well, all lives matter. There are people dying in Africa. There are people dying on the streets. It's not just black people getting killed by police officers. I understand that but how many of those police officers actually get convicted when it's a black person how many of those police officers actually get reprimanded when it's a black person how many of those police officers are allowed to roam the streets afterwards and just get paid administrative leave while you're watching this video I just want you to think about it just think about it and if you still feel like posting a comment don't because it's going to get deleted with love because I'm tired of hearing opposition about my people and here on this channel we're not for it we're not for it I have time to sit here and go through every single comment and make sure all of them are deleted if I see all lives matter or y'all deserve what y'all get whatever whatever because there's a difference between protesters and looters and unless y'all are ignorant and don't do your research then you wouldn't know that a lot of white supremacist racial radical groups are the ones that actually start a lot of the looting and if you don't want to believe that then you're just stupid and i don't feel sorry for you when you get what's coming to you whether it's spiritually physically mentally or emotionally you get what you get so other than that guys have fun and I hope you guys stay to the end of the video. If not, so the first thing that I did was download the desired image that I wanted to use as a PNG file. I did this because I thought that the background would already be transparent, but apparently that didn't work. So I ended up having to select and erase it myself using Cricut Design Space. But that's one thing I do like about this app. It has like a magic wand kind of thing that can guesstimate and eliminate the areas that it thinks you want to erase. So that's what I was able to do. So this printer that I use is a Canon Pixma Pro 100. You don't have to use this printer to use the Cricut. Of course, you can use any printer that you have at home. But since I am uh, the owner of my own art shop, I use this. That way I can make quality art prints as well as quality premium stickers. So if you guys want to check out the unboxing of this printer right here, I will leave that link in the description as well as putting an info card in right about here. Another thing that I can suggest for you guys to do is to use the search to try and find a specific material that you're looking for and if not then go general because during the first few times that I used my Cricut I was using the wrong setting and it really did affect the way that the Cricut cut and I thought that the Cricut was doing something wrong and in reality it was me I didn't change the materials so make sure that when you guys are doing your first project you know what material that you're using and make sure that you find it and if you're going to be using that material often then you can favor it so it'll be easier for you to find on your next project <laughs>
Another thing that you guys are going to have to do when you're in Cricut Design Space is to make sure that your images aren't touching because if they are, then it's going to cut connected and it might overlap and you might end up losing some of the images that you need. Also, 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 before you even cut and print, make sure that you calibrate your machine because if you don't, you're going to cry because I cried because I didn't know what was going on and I had to do some Googling and then I figured out you're supposed to calibrate the machine before you even started a project. So. Make sure you have a printer at home because you're going to need that to calibrate it and it's going to take you a few tries for it to get it right. And when I say few, I think it took me about five or six runs for my machine to actually be calibrated. But that could just be me because you know I'm a little off sometimes. But before you do any project with your Cricut, make sure that you calibrate it. Please, please, please. Okay, so this is the ending. Those are my tips for um, how to do a better job at using your Cricut the first time than I did. Um, I hope that the examples of my mistakes were, were helpful because I did try and save as much as I could. Um, overall, I do believe the Cricut is a very, very, very helpful machine, especially if you are doing anything with arts and crafts. And um, I hope that you all take this video to not only educate you about the crickets but also educate you about what's going on in the black community and if you're an ally i will leave petitions donation opportunities as well as just information that can be used to help us if you are not an ally sorry not sorry i mean i'm not gonna let this stop me from making content and i'm not going to let fear stop me from speaking up whether this wannabe dictator and takes away my first amendment right or not i will still speak on what i believe on so um yeah that's it that's the tweet um stay safe out there and continue to fight for what you believe in until next time <laughs>